Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode from Life for Living Well. My name is Richard and I will present in this episode today from Life for Living Well. I hope this particular episode is informative and helpful and relax and enjoy it. So whatever you do today, may your day go well. Thank you. Hi, my name is Richard. I am recording on behalf of Life for Living Well. Uh, the video I have in mind today is more to do with questions, not actually making a statement. I've been looking into the state of the universe, the state of life, the state of the community, and the state of what is going on right now. We live in a very interesting time where knowledge-wise, we seem to be more capable than the previous generations, especially the amount of information that every one of us can digest and available to us. For example, I'm making this particular recording and these messages in my little space. But where this message will be viewing or reading or listening to, I have no control about it. But the power of technology make this information become instant access to the wider audience. So the question I asking myself that I'm throwing there, and I'm trying to explain it in a way that I observe it. My observation not necessarily mean that true reflection, but I'm happy to get your own intake on it. Why is it that people don't help? Yes, we have great, a lot of men and women that do help by volunteering their times, volunteering them, giving their money, giving their material, shared material wealth with the less privileged among us. But there's 7 billion people in the world. And when you travel a lot, and sometimes occasionally the news door shows you a flash bit. It depends part of the world that you live. But it still shows that there's a lot of people that they don't help. So the question I ask is that, what is it that make people don't want to help? So I've, I've come to realize that people don't help for few and many reasons. So number one, I say that people don't help because they don't know that somebody else has a problem. I once met someone that all the time she always seemed to need help or support of something or the other. And then she makes a innocent statement by saying that, oh, you have your life together. You don't seem to have anything. She's right and she also wrong. She's right because she never asked me. She just assumed me that in as much as I don't complain about anything, it means everything is perfect. I smile. And because she complained about everything, it means that things are not fair and not perfect. So that's another different topic. Another day is a mindset. But what I'm saying is that the reason why some people don't help is because they don't see the problem. And they don't see the problem is because they don't ask. And the reason why people don't help is they don't know how to help. Essentially, in the West, when, when there is a lost in a family, neighbors, family, friends, they don't really know how to sell, how to support the 
person that just lost a loved one. They really don't know how to handle this. And most people just leave as if there is no end to it. I like this uh, uh, stoic word, which is also borrowed into Christianity word. And it's more Latin. It's a momentary, momentary mori. That everything is have is short time. That death is real. So what I'm trying to say to us that why people don't help people don't help because like i just said number two is they don't know how to help people don't help because they think and feel like it won't make any difference and you sometimes people see big problem and they don't think like Helping just one person is enough. They thinking they needed to help all the hope. A lot of people and they don't have any resources. But just helping one person will actually make a difference in the world. So what are the things that I've seen that people don't help? People don't help because they feel like they don't have enough. Like example I gave before. The reason why she feels other people don't have a problem because she thinks that she doesn't have enough, that she needs more. And because she needs more, there's no way she's going to stop and think like she already have enough. And there's a lot of people that don't have anything at all. So what I'm trying to say is that there's so many people, there's so many reasons why people don't help. And what I'm reason why I'm making this video is to encourage you that you don't need to help the whole nation, you don't need to help the whole universe. All you have to do first, helping yourself first. Once you are working to become a better person, you reduce one more pain in the world. And if it's only you that you can help to make yourself intentionally become a sensible and decent woman being then you help the world and if you can only help one person in your neighborhood in your country or in your environment or society and you can become a force for good then you help the universe you help the world so i hope this uh message reach someone and if you want to write to me today uh, please write to me at info at lifeforlivingwell.info. My name is Richard and I'm hoping that this message helps someone this today. Have your day may go well and have an amazing day. Thank you very much.